What's up guys, welcome to a new tutorial video and because of the success of my last multi-clip intro tutorial I decided to make a new one with new nice multi-clip intros and new masks and I'm going to show you how you can create these masks. Because of this, give thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below and activate the bell so you won't miss any video in future. But now let's jump right into LumaFusion. Well, let's start with creating a new project. Set the frame rate to 60 frames per second to get the most amount of frames uh, possible in LumaFusion. Let's rename it and call it MultiClub Intro Volume 2. And all you have to do is add a main title at first. Change the length of this title to about 10 seconds. I would recommend 10 seconds because this is a nice length for an intro or a multi-clip transition. Um, and if you want to go shorter, just cut out some parts of these masks or intros and if you want to go longer then just duplicate parts in between so but i would recommend 10 seconds now double tap this title layer and delete the text then go to the plus and add a shape resize it until it fills the whole screen and change the color to green then duplicate this clip three times Therefore, you have to press this button right here and change the color of the other two clips to at first pink for the second layer and then blue for the third layer. Okay, and now let the second layer begin at half a second after the first layer and the third layer one second of the, of the first layer. So always uh, 30 frames after each other. And we let the third layer also end one second after the first layer and the second layer 30 frames after the first, before the first uh, layer. So like this. Now what we've got is this effect right here totally boring at the moment so what we are doing is we're changing the shape so maybe let's select an octagon here and change the size and also add a white edge color with a thick white bar like this to it so it looks like this then go to the third layer also add a shape, maybe this one, and change the size. Add also these edge bars with white color. What you have to do is to make sure it's all centered, so it's right in the middle. If center X and center Y is at 50, it's perfectly in the middle. Okay. What happens now is we have nice shapes for our clips and they are also ending like this to make the ending a bit more special we are going to nine seconds at the frame where the blue star disappears and we're setting a cut just for the second layer. We're editing it and we're changing the color to blue. So now it looks like this, okay? Then we are going to the first layer where the octagon disappears. We are setting a cut and we are also changing the color to blue. And now it looks like this. And then we are going and saving this whole file with 60 frames a second, 4K and extreme quality. Uh, 
Okay. Now delete all the stuff in here. And to fill this mask, there are some steps you have to follow. First, add some footage. Um, in this case, I will add this one here. Then drag the mask above it, right like this. And if you want to change the length to, let's say, about five seconds, we are cutting the mask into two pieces. So maybe like this. And now we should have a five second long mask. Then cut the clip beneath to the right length. Double tap the mask and add a green screen key. Now change the settings until all edges are sharp and the green color has disappeared. You should pull the sliders at first to these markers in here because normally this is the point where it has the best possible quality. Now play a bit around until it's nice and perfect, so like this. Then copy this settings and paste them to the second file. And now it looks like this. Then save this file to your photos with the frame rate of the original clip in the first layer. And I just want a cinematic look, so we are choosing 30 frames a second. And also saves faster. Okay, now again, delete the whole footage in here. Go to your folders and add the second footage. In this case, this one. Then drag the saved file above it. And change the length of the clip beneath again. Add a green screen here, but change the color to pink. Again, pull the sliders to the markers and now play around with the settings. Of course, you can also color grade um, this footage. Let's choose maybe teal and orange look like this. Looks pretty good. Again, save it. Delete it. And we are adding the last clip, this one, and also drag it again, the saved file above it, double tap to edit, add the blue screen here, pull the sliders to the markers, so right here you have to be very precise, especially if you have sky in the image. Now again, let's color grade this a bit. And again, cut it. And what we've got now is this multi-clip intro or transition, whatever you want to use it for. Okay guys, this was the tutorial. This was just an example of which kind of shapes, sizes and like borders or edges you can use. Uh, be creative yourself. But if you don't want to be that creative, I've created like 50 or 60 of these masks and added them to my LumaFusion Ultimate bundle. Go and check it out right there. It contains like tons of LUTs, masks, FX, sound effects, all you, can, all you need for a good start in LumaFusion and very creative editing.
So right now, give thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any video in future. And we are seeing each other the next time. Bye.